The Navy says it has recovered the military plane that overshot the runway at Marine Corps Base Hawaii two weeks ago. Casey Lund is on base this morning, learning more about what happens next. Casey? Hey, good morning, Steve and Neil. Remember, we brought this to you as breaking news when this all unfolded about two weeks ago. It was Monday, November 20th. Uh, here on the runway, we want to show you a look at that uh, P-8A Poseidon uh, aircraft, that jet that uh, went into the water after that failed landing again on Monday, November 20th. The uh, military says it took about 13 hours to get that up onto roller bags out of the water and back onto the tarmac here. We also learned that the landing gear on that aircraft was uh, undamaged. So again, we have heard from Navy leaders that say they want to get this plane eventually uh, back into service here. That may take some time though, as the investigation into exactly how this all unfolded is still ongoing. We do know uh, a little bit more about the potential impacts to the reef here at the end of the runway in Kaneohe Bay. We heard from military leaders as well as DLNR. They've been working closely uh, with state partners to try and assess exactly uh, how the reef may have been damaged. Of course, they put those booms, those absorbent uh, booms into the water to try to contain any contaminants. But we also heard from the time that aircraft went into the water back on November 20th to now, there were no contaminants that were detected to have been leaked uh, from that plane. Of course, there's about 2,000 gallons worth of jet fuel that were removed a week ago over the weekend. We also heard from the base commander here, Jeremy Bevin, uh, Colonel Jeremy Bevin, the commanding officer at Marine Corps Base Hawaii, about the work that his teams are able to do and what they were able to accomplish working with Hawaii's DLNR. Take a listen. Uh, I'm incredibly pleased with what has been accomplished, but more importantly, the way in which it was accomplished. Uh, as I said last week, on several occasions, my expectations since the very beginning of this incident was that anything that we did was going to be thoughtful, it was going to be measured, and we were going to have robust conversation about what we were going to do with an eye towards both safety, uh, but also with towards the environment to, to mitigate the effects to the degree possible. And good news again, we also heard from Kim Fuller with the Department of Land and Natural Resources Div Division of Aquatic Resources. Uh, they have been able to work with military divers. They were able to get in the water with them on Sunday. That happened yesterday to get an initial assessment. They say, uh, of course, there is some damage to the corals here uh, at the end of the runway, but the extent of that really still isn't known. They still have some work to do. We also, again, uh, heard from uh, base leaders who say they will be modifying uh, some of the uh, runway operations here, but that really won't impact things at Marine Corps Base Hawaii in any serious way. For now, we'll send things back into the studio with Steve. All right. Thank you, Casey.